Hello guys, hope you have been having a very lovely day. In this video, I would like to show you how to obtain the root locus of a transfer function using the Scilab software. So Scilab and MATLAB are two things which can be used to find out this. So uh, I'm using Scilab and I've already done this video on uh, MATLAB. You can uh, browse my channel for that video. And this one is for Scilabs. So once Scilabs opens, you need to click Launch Sci Notes. This one on the top left. So once you click that, an editor window is gonna open like this. This is where you need to type your program. So our aim is to obtain the root locus of a transfer function. So let me first ask you why do you need to find out the root locus so if you know the root locus you can actually um, adjust the gain and make some changes to a transfer function so this is the Scilab program which you need to write to find out the root locus of a transfer function so s is equal to percentile s and then num is equal to enter whatever transfer function you want say this is my numerator s plus 4 is my numerator and my denominator is is uh, let me say s plus 1 into s plus 2 into s plus 6. So this is my denominator. My numerator is s plus 4 and my denominator is s plus 1 into s plus 2 into s plus 6. So now I'm gonna write t is equal to s y s l i n of c comma num by 10 which is your numerator by denominator so now say clf and then evans events of t so those using matlab might actually get confused in here because in matlab you use a function called r locus of the transfer function say the transfer function is h you say r locus of h that is the function which plots the root locus in the matlab software but in scilab the equivalent of that root locus thing is events e v a n s of t so of whatever the thing of whatever the name of the root transfer function is in my case it is t so events of t and uh, so let me also add to your knowledge that Evans is actually the person who contributed to this root locus concept. So it must have been on his uh, name they m named it this way. So I'm just g this is just my access. This is nothing to be confused with. So this makes the Scilab program. This is what you need to type in your sci notes and this program this whole program this all this text in the sci notes i'm going to post it in the link of the in the description part of the video also you can find it there so let me first save it let me save and execute it let me save it under the name root underscore locus Two, because I already have root underscore locus so save so if you go to the command window now you can so let me just go back here and it's doing something See. there you go so once you have clicked save and execute this is what you get you have given input of the numerator and the denominator of the transfer function and this output is the root locus as you can see this is a zero and the x's are and the ones marked x are 
poles of the transfer function. And the zero, this one, is the zero of the transfer function. So this you can also find in the top right of this graphic window. So this is how you got to use a Scilab program to find out the transfer function. And this, uh, this is the program which you need to write. I'm going to post this as it is in the description of the video. And you can just edit the numerator and denominator parts and execute it in your Scilab software. So, hope you find this informative. And if you have an exam tomorrow or today, all the very best. And have a great day. Bye.